Hello, my name's Alexander Matthews and this is how to draw Newt Noodle, the time-travelling wrestler from the pages of the dandy. I draw him straight into the computer using Photoshop. So what you're going to see is me starting off using just a grey line. So I start with the nose, three jaggedy shapes, his brow, his eyes, little lines under his eyes, brown lines and a big smile. He's obviously involved in some horrible punishment that he finds amusing. So just by putting some darker lines around the eyes, changing the shape simply, I can get a different expression from him. He's quite simple to draw. He's just a lot of shapes thrown together. I don't bother with guidelines like a kind of round shape with a cross in it to show where the middle of his head is and so on. I just tend to draw him as I feel. So there's his arm, his fist, part of his uh, wrestling sweatband and some horrible creatures being crushed under his fist. Just an eye there poking out and then his trademark sound effect, a massive boof. So this guy's just going to be basically turned into a kind of squidgy paste. I really like the extreme violence of, of Nuke. The way he just destroys things and people and everything. He's not really a nice character. So, this is the other arm. I'm not really happy with this one actually. It's kind of a bit of a weird shape. Feet. He's kind of jumping up in the air. The power of his blow has raised him up into the air. So I'm going to raise that. So that arm's gone a bit weird. But that's the good thing about Photoshop is you can fix things really easily. So I'll just move him across to get him more in the middle of the page. And um, get rid of this line here with the eraser. See if I can get that shape looking a bit more natural. Just take that out with a um, lasso, which is kind of a select tool. And then try and get that curve in. There's his sweatband again on his wrist. Put the line of his body in his important belly button. And some lines just to show the kind of movement. Try and draw them really quick so that they kind of feel like movement. I tend to draw really quickly, too quickly probably. I, I often get Newt looking a little bit different in each panel but I kind of like that. I think it helps to get a, the action across. So this is just the sketch layer as I said. I'm going to move this hand because I'm still not happy with it. If I move the hand over there a bit, raise that bit of his shorts and the arm I think that arm, the whole arm needs to be a little bit further out from his body. There we go. I think that's better. Just erase that. Okay, I think that's pre I'm pretty happy with that, that sketch. A lot of adjustment and playing around involved. Smoothing out and so on. So I'm going to use a new layer now and do the black line, the kind of ink layer as it would be traditionally called. So I just can go over this line on a new layer in Photoshop. Put his lines in his face. I always start with the middle of the face. I never start with the outline of the face first. I find that if I do the outline I can't quite fit his features in and he goes distorted. So I always start with the nose and the brows and the eyes and then work outwards from that. Little tip there. There's his important mullet haircut. There's the top of his head. Nuke's very proud of his hair, his ludicrous haircut, and sometimes he gets a little bit of criticism in the strip for it, but often the characters seem to really like it. They think he's brave, I think, for sporting such a terrible haircut. But I based that haircut on American wrestlers because they, they did well, they did when I was a younger man. They did have these terrible mullet haircuts with the hair flowing down the back and short at the front. So it wouldn't go in their eyes. 
thing about Nuke is he's got huge arms. Sometimes they go a bit too big and it looks a bit weird. And tiny little legs. He's an odd shaped character. And I decided when I invented him that he would just be walking around in pants. Because I thought that was strange. I thought that would give it an extra humorous dimension. That he was just walking through the entire history of the earth just in little wrestling pants he's quite a ridiculous character really brutal as well here we go this is the spludgy mess that he's made of this character some nameless thing that I've had him crush in just one eye poking out of a big explosion of meat so you can see that I don't tend to to trace the lines exactly I get a new feel as I'm drawing the second layer often I make a little improvements and they're very easy to erase and start again if I'm not happy with I think I'm going to go in and put a few more details into this shape just so you can get a little bit more of a feel of the fleshiness just a few lines can help to kind of give it more character more three-dimensional feel fill in that bit there so that the fill doesn't leak out there we go so this bit of texture I think will help to create the feeling of this thing that Nuke has squished now his body and his legs so it's pretty quick really I don't tend to spend that much time on each drawing because as I say I want to get that feeling of movement and dynamism I like to make the drawings of him dynamic as I can put his little legs in his wrestling shoes and his little pants I try to choose as simple shapes as possible for the whole of the character and as few colours as possible. Basically he's just black, a skin colour and yellow hair which helps, makes him easier to draw and it means I can spend more time making the baddies and the enemies that he fights a little bit more elaborate because I don't have to spend that long drawing Nuke. There's his wristband again nearly there with the shape I'll zoom out a bit and get this line in and I missed start again yeah got him do the movement lines happy with that one and again there we go bit of shadow yep and then what I'll do now is just turn off this grey layer just erase it so you can see the black line clearly go raise that and there you can see nuke squishing something with great force I've got his colors saved so you can see this color is called nuke skin whoops I had it in gray so I have to change it to color okay there it is nuke skin color kind of looks quite dark against white when you put color around it, it tends to lighten up a little bit there we go, his yellow hair and I'll just draw using this select tool a line for where the shadow is going to be on his arm use my darker skin colour fill that little bit in the other arm now fill that just shading on the side of his head to make his head a little bit more three dimensional and on the side of his body There we go, that's Nuke. And then I'll put some pink on this thing, this spludge, and I think green colour for the words to make them stand out, contrast with that pink quite nicely. A little bit of pastel yellow, green as a highlight. And there we go, that's pretty much it. Might just add a little bit more darker line, thicker line around his chin. Not sure about that line. And there we go, there's Nuke in all his glory.